Welcome, everyone. Uh, happy to have you here. We're very excited to show a little bit about Samsung Inner Purchase. Uh, this session is Monetize Your Game with Samsung Inner Purchase. I'm Gaby Rojas. I'm a technical program manager for Samsung Developer Program Team. And I'm Knight Lo. I'm a developer relations engineer, and I create those plugins and also maintain them. So before we get started, I just want to hear a little bit from you. Anybody has worked with Samsung AAP before? No, nobody? You have? OK. <laughs> Any That's other great. billing system that you already have an application and you are familiar with any technology? See some yes? OK. So I think this will be a very good session to give you a understanding of what we can offer in terms of in purchases and the opportunities in the store. So let's get going. Just a quick overview. We want to focus mostly on the technical part of the integration of the plugins. So Samsung in-app purchase is the payment service that we have to make it possible for developers to sell in-app items in your application or, or in a game that is available in Galaxy Store. We support different payment methods, a credit card, local payment uh, methods such as WeChat, Alipay. We also support Samsung Pay, uh, carrier billing in some countries. Currently, we support uh, a little bit over 90 countries, but we are continuing to expand. So it's a big uh, global opportunity for developers to be able to, to use in-app purchases with us. We have our website in Samsung Developers uh, uh, website, actually, uh, specific for Samsung in-app purchase. You can download all the documentation, the SDK, there's sample applications, there's a community. You can also contact support team. Uh, all the information about Samsung AAP can be found exactly here at developersamsung.com slash AAP. A little bit of how in a purchase architecture is, is set. Basically, you will have your application. When you integrate the SDK, you are going to, the Android SDK, and I will talk a little bit more specifically about the plugins for Unity and Unreal. You will actually be uh, integrating with a helper class. That helper class will help you communicate with the in-app purchase service app that is already on all Samsung devices. And that uh, in-app uh, service app will communicate with the in-app purchase server. We provide the basic kind of uh, methods and, and, and calls for you to be able to get the items that are available for purchase, uh, check what items the user has already uh, purchased, also do a transaction, uh, consume an item in terms of consumables. And we also provide uh, server APIs. So from your server, you can do a server-to-server -server verification to see if a transaction is valid. In case of subscriptions, well, you need to give a track of the subscription. So we also have a, a get subscription status API where you can uh, find out all the information about the, the subscription. Supported items, pretty standard. We have non-consumable, those that you buy once, and then it was going to stay there uh, effective for the rest of the uh, life of that uh, item. Uh, for example, a superpower in a game, you want to keep that uh, for the rest of the, of the time. Ads removal, uh, we also have consumable items. Very common, just the coins or the hearts that you can sell in your game or any other kind of item that your application needs and the user can buy multiple times. In terms of subscription, we offer different payment cycles. We have weekly, monthly, three months, six months, annually. And we also support free trial uh, from seven to 999 days. Uh, it's an auto-recurring subscription. So once the user agrees to purchase the subscription, they will continue to uh, get charged for the amount that you set in the different time period that you have also specified. Knight is going to talk to you about in-app purchase improvements. Yeah, thanks, Gabby. So um, with every update, we try to improve our Samsung IAP SDK as much as possible. And here are the latest up updates. Um, so firstly, we introduce new API features, such as item consumption management. So things like consumables and non-consumables, uh, which is pretty hard to do previously. Now it's, you can do that. And we also have path-through uh, parameters, which means uh, as a developer, you can pass things like uh, your order IDs or your uh, user IDs with a purchase, so which you can use to verify the, the purchase later. Um, we also have built-in fraud detection system, both in back, uh, backend and the client side. So we'll, we'll help you to fight with you know, the, those 
uh, hackings and uh, illegal uh, credit cards or like uh, black cards. Um, next, we also in focus a lot on the user experience side. Uh, one thing is uh, we allow user to uh, option to turn off the the, per, uh, the password. So that's a as we know, like the password input is a huge hassle for uh, the whole IAP purchase flow. And the next thing is we remove the annoying load pop-up dialog, which you can like spin around and it takes forever. Uh, the reason we can do that though is because we work really hard to uh, improve the process in time. We reduce the process in time from seven seconds to under two seconds. That's why we can get rid of the loading dialogs, because otherwise it's needed uh, for, for better user feedback. And we also um, redesign the payment dialog. Uh, as you can see, there's like multiple pop-ups and the pop-up multiple times, and you have to confirm. And now it's a clean uh, interface that user can operate and uh, finish their purchase. Uh, we noticed that there's a huge percentage of apps in the Galaxy Store are actually gaming apps. So we decided to help the game developers to integrate with Samsung IAP much faster and easier. Uh, we provide Samsung IAP plugins for Unity and Unreal. So before I dive into the plugins, is there any game developers here in the... Oh, hey, there's... <laughs> So your life will be much better uh, after this. So let's see what we did. Um, so right now, uh, for game developers, there's uh, two options, really, they, they can do to integrate with Samsung IP once you use a third-party developed uh, plugins. The other is do it all, all by yourself uh, in-house. So those are all good, uh, but there's some drawbacks uh, uh, for those each approach. So for third-party developed plugins, uh, it's not always up to date because you know uh, we, we don't really communicate that much uh, with third-party developers. So um, it might be kind of behind the like, Vern version or two. So the systems such as like, fraud detection are not in place. Uh, also, um, some of the plugins they do collect their own data. So you really want to pay attention to that because the law are pretty strict on the privacy. Uh, for example, the GDPRs, and you don't want to violate those. That could by file. Um, and for in-house development, it's all good, but uh, it usually takes more time than you think. So yeah, just keep that in mind. With the Samsung IP plugins, we uh, it's officially supported and maintained by Samsung. So we will always keep it up to date. So you, that means you always get the latest features. And we spend a lot of time to make sure it's really easy to use. For example, it plays nice with Google and the Facebook. It's actually uh, not that easy thing to do for, for Unity. Um, and uh, it will be available later in November. Um, you can download at developer.sanson.com. So integrate with the Samsung plugins, actually a pretty easy process. Uh, I break it down into five steps. Of course, there's uh, steps I didn't cover if you want to use like uh, higher level features. This is just the uh, faster way, fastest way to approach. So first, you import the plugins and you pick a configuration. After that, you get all the details of the things you want to sell. And after that, the user can make a purchase. Um, the once the user make a purchase, depends on it's a non-consumable or consumables, and you can consume a product. All right, let's start. So import plugin, we all designed each plugin based on the uh, engine, game engine. So for Unity, just double click and it should do all the job for you. And for Unreal, just copy that to the plugin folder. And after that, you need to pay attention to uh, which operational mode you pick. There's two modes, Samsung IAP uh, operates on. One's testing mode, which you can make purchase again and again. It won't go through the billing process. Nobody getting charged on their credit card. But that also means if you release your apps like this, you won't make any money. So remember to switch 
to the production mode and uh, before you release. And uh, that will go through the whole billing cycle and they will charge the credit card and uh, the credit card will bill to your account. So next is to get all the products. You can get that uh, by calling this function get product details. The product detail contains localized pricing, localized item description, localized names. So, you know, think about uh, you make a, ga a game here, game app here, but you know, re release in Korea, you want everything is localized. And uh, uh, you can do that in the um, seller office, uh, which Gabby will uh, touch on later. And uh, on the get product callbacks, you'll get all the details of the uh, products. And uh, if you can specify the exact product you want to get, or you can specify like empty string, and then it will get all the product you want. Um, second uh, is once you get all the product, your player or app users can click on one of them and uh, start a purchase. So you can use this start payment method and specify which one you want to purchase. And here is what you pass in the path through. So like uh, all the ID or user IDs. And all the results will be returned on the payment results, uh, whether successful, failure, or canceled. Uh, lastly, if you have something that's consumable, you want to consume it before the user can purchase it again. So don't forget this step. Uh, you can use that to consume the purchase items pretty easily and the specify the purchase ID and the, you know, listen on the results. So with that five steps, you should be able to publish a game in Galaxy Door. It's ready, but uh, you know, there's like uh, additional features such as you know, rewards and redemptions you can get from the uh, developer.sensum.com. Uh, so I will hand over to Gabby. Thank you, Knight. So basically, we've gone through the capabilities of in-app purchase, how to integrate the plugins. Now you have done all this work, then what does it mean? How do I get my game, my application out there for consumers to actually download it and start buying my items and I can start making money? So we're going to cover the basic steps to publish your application or your game in Galaxy Store. Uh, first thing will be to register to seller office. We're going to go into the specifics of that, but it's the main dashboard where you're going to be able to manage the updates and the items of your application. Uh, you're going to register your game there and your in-app items. Then you have to fully test your application. Uh, Knight already covered a little bit about the different test modes, but there's more to that. And then we're going to cover the certification process. This is very unique to our store and a very important step. And finally, your uh, application or your game can be live in Galaxy Store. So seller office, you can go to seller.samsungapps.com. Basically, create an account. Uh, there's no cost associated to register into seller office. As you are planning to uh, integrate in a purchase, we recommend that you immediately apply for a commercial seller status. This is something we recommend to all our partners and developers. Don't wait until you actually have a final APK or a better structure of how are you going to sell the items. Uh, cover this step. Uh, it's a manual process from our side. Our team actually reviews uh, the documentation that you provide. It has to be a business license and bank account, and everything has to match with your country. So it takes a little bit of time, three to five days usually. So please take care of that uh, immediately so you, it won't block uh, the development or the release of your application. Uh, once you're in seller office, you're going to be able to register the application, upload the description of your game, the assets. Uh, you're going to be able to select when you want it live, you're going to be able to see uh, statistics, uh, uh, reports from accounting, uh, buyer's comment, everything is going to be there. Uh, and you can register the Samsung in a purchase, uh, uh, your, Samsung, your application with Samsung in a purchase integrated. And once you've done that, you are going to be able to register the in-app items that you want to sell for your application. We do support item bulk upload, that's especially important for game developers when sometimes you have hundreds of items that you need to have uh, available. Uh, so we do support that. Uh, we have a template. You just need to upload it. We can also set up prices for uh, specific countries. So that's very good when you want to plan a promotion in a region. You can modify the price, and that's going to be available. And you can add items once already your app is published. Uh, we still have to go through our review, but it's pretty fast, so at least one business day. Just a quick uh, overview of how 
the dashboard looks, as you can see, pretty strand, standard. There's an item ID that is going to be unique for each item, uh, the type of item, the price. And then you can also see all the countries uh, that is going to be available for sale. And next to each country, you can see the payment method that is supported. You can decide if you want to support carrier billing or not. Testing the game, that's also something very important. My recommendation to uh, the partners and developers that we have worked with is take it at different steps. First time you are new to the SDK, you're trying to integrate it, you're uh, trying to understand the plugins. So we recommend you set up the mode as test, as, as Knight explained, and start just doing fake transactions. They don't reach the payment gateway. You're going to be able to do as many as you want so you can get familiarized with the calls and the, the different payloads that you get, and you're comfortable with it. Once you have a more uh, mature APK, something that you can say it's a beta or an alpha, and you actually want to try production transactions, real transactions, then you can set up a closed beta. Uh, this one is also done through Seller Office. You just need to register your tester Samsung account. Once they are whitelisted, they will have access to this APK through the store. Nobody else will have it. You just distribute it through a, via a link. And if still, if there are some people that you want to distribute and they want to do transactions but don't get charged, we also have a valid license tester, tester that you can also register them and they can do transactions without any, any fee. Once you're ready with your APK, you have gone through all the closed beta, you're comfortable, it's ready to submit for certification. Certification process for us is very important because we want to make sure that the applications that are in the store is quality content. Right? We don't want anything crashing the first time you open it. We want that first user experience to be amazing that they downloaded something from Galaxy Store and it's a unique content, it's, it's really good quality for them. So the first step will be a pre-review process. Basically, is check the content validation, basic functionality of the application. After that, the application will go live, but that doesn't mean testing has uh, com be com been completed. Uh, our certification team will continue to test for at least another five days, more deep functionality, different device groups, and if they find an issue either in a device group or a major issue that is affecting all devices, your application can be suspended. So sometimes uh, developers are a bit surprised, like, I was live and now it's gone, what happened? You'll get a report explaining what the issue is, uh, and they will uh, expect for you to submit an update to fix it. So extremely important, especially if you are planning a promotion, you want to make sure give some time before uh, going full speed with your promotion and making sure that the app is, is okay in the store. And that's it. After you pass certification, you will be live in Galaxy Store. If you are not too familiar with the store, uh, I recommend you stop by uh, the booth. We have a booth here with the team. They can give you an overview of what Galaxy Store is, but basically it's the marketplace for Samsung devices, including watches. We have apps, we have watch faces, we have themes, all different type of content. Uh, the team takes care of the store, uh, they curate it weekly. As I mentioned, they focus on the quality, not on the quantity. So we want to work with partners that want to provide an exclusive experience for our users. There's a lot of promotional opportunities, so it's also good to keep in mind that uh, if you have a game or something that you want to get promoted, this could be the right channel. And just to wrap it up, we also have a Samsung developer program. Uh, it is great for any developer, free of cost as well. We can help you through the whole journey. If you have any technical questions, you can reach out to the engineers. Um, we can also help you with a promotion request. We have a cloud device farm. You need to get access to remote devices. This is something that you can take advantage of. Uh, the devices are US specific. We do webinars. We have monthly newsletters, so we keep you up to date with everything that's happening. Uh, you can register at programdeveloper.samsung.com. Okay, you can reach out to us at our support at samsungdevelopers.com. And that's about it for us. Um, please, if you can, take uh, one minute to rate the session. We would like to hear what you think about it. You can do it through the app. And we just want to improve for next year to, to understand if this is useful for you. Thank you. So we can do a Q&A now. <laughs> if there's any a question, yes. Revenue share? So, sorry. Can you what's say the, the question? What's the revenue share? Yeah. Revenue share is 70, 30. 70 developers, 30 is Samsung. Uh, 
Um, so right now, to integrate the SDK, we have to download a zip from the website and add it to our application. Um, what happens if I want to upgrade the SDK like with future releases? Is that a manual process, or are you planning to add it to like Maven, for example, so that uh, the oh. library is easier to integrate? Right. So just to clarify, currently the Android SDK is available in the website. The plugins that Knight mentioned, we are going to release them in a couple of weeks uh, later this month. Are you interested in the plugin or the Android SDK? The Android SDK, uh, we do updates, I will say, every three to six months. Uh, once a new update of the SDK, you can just import the new version, and it should be all compatible, nothing should break, and you can just continue to update your application as you need. So, so to clarify, so um, there is a multiple part of the SDK. So what you integrate is uh, really the interface of, of the functionality. So we are constantly upgrading the um, IAP. So parts of it will get updated, like you know the interface of your payment, uh, and those that will be updated, like fraud detection. And but you know if there's new functionality that you want to use, it won't you won't get it if you integrate with the old SDK. Uh, but it will keep keep working. Uh, I will like whenever uh, keep yeah. It will always be working. What is the minimum um, Android API level that's supported? Minimum API level, I think, is 23. I'll, let me double check, but it's 23 or higher. I believe so. OK, and the it, other question was um, you uh, go live in the store before final approval. And like you said, if you have some promotion that's synchronized with it going live, mm -hmm. is there some way to get the final approval without going live? You can always select a later uh, release date for your application. So let's say I want to submit for certification, but I don't want to go immediately live. I want to go live in the next two weeks. So then you complete that kind of a, the whole certification process. And once in two weeks, then it will be live. So you can set up that way. How many unique users do you guys have in the US for the Galaxy App Store? For the Galaxy App Store, I will have to check with the Galaxy Store team. I know there's over 30 million monthly active users, but unique users, uh, that's a number we need to check with them. We have Ed. Please, Ed. <laughs> Ed is from the store team. So. The global number, we have over 300 million MAUs globally. No more questions? Okay. Great. Thank you so much for coming. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.